So we had the SID Display Week 2019, and hi. Hi. So who are you? I'm Simon from AUO, so welcome to AUO booth. So AUO is one of the leaders in the display industry, right? For sure. And yes. in Taiwan? Yeah, from Taiwan. And what is the latest that you show here at the show? Yeah, please follow me. This year our theme is a very important thing, is uh, mini LED. So yeah. this one, uh, we have a 4K. Also, uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, a 4K mini LED, so which uh, applies uh, 240 zones. You can uh, take a look at it. It's, uh, it's a picture quality, it's awesome. So it's also peak brightness, over 1,000 nits. It's based on the, our LTPS uh, TFT LCD. Very thin bezels. Yeah, very thin bezel. That's from the LTPS technology. We so, have. so um, what is the contrast here? And um, is this like very good for HDR? Yeah, it's uh, perfect for HDR, and the contract, the contrast that can be only uh, not not measurable by the machine because the the, the the backlight can be turned off uh, completely, so you can see the, the awesome uh, contrast ratio. So then you want to play your video games in the dark. Yes, to get that's even what more the better experience. Right, that's the focus of our gaming monitor. Recently, uh, the, the gaming monitor with the high frame rate and also the HDR function. That's so, the perfect the gaming experience. So, uh, mini LED is how many zones here? Ah, here we have a uh, this case uh, 240 zones. So as a local dimming, 240 times. Yes. Yes, and still to keep our module very thin. Nice. Yes. Uh, and this one is, uh, this one is high a refresh high 4K. Yes, as you can see, the uh, the, the refresh yeah. rate is 120 hertz for this kind of racing uh, gaming. It's a uh, very useful. And also, this is one. Uh, this one is for the, the gaming monitor and the gaming notebook applications. So we we have been working on gaming monitor and notebook. Yeah. Uh, for, for years, so the high frame rate is really the focus for the gaming monitor. On laptop, is no problem to do 120 hertz, or the first time it's shown. Yeah, this is I, a laptop. Think, yeah, laptop. Laptop usually 60 hertz because it's for official uh, for document <laughs> processing. So far, nobody do 120, or it's already on the market. Yeah, already on the market, but we are the leader. Yeah. You're the leader. Yeah, we are the leader. Also, the, the gaming, gaming monitor. monitor. Yes, yes, definitely. We are number one. Uh, worldwide number one share. It's a 1688 PPI. Right, it's an ultra high PPI for the near eye display, like a virtual reality. Yeah. So you can see the very fine uh, pictures. So you cannot tell the boundaries. So it takes uh, because yeah. the viewing distance is really close. So it takes like uh, more than 1,500 PPI. So it's a very small screen, but for VR. For VR, for virtual reality. Uh, but 2.9 inches maybe is too small for VR, no? Or oh, you can what take is a the idea of 2.9? Oh, it's just uh, near your eyes, so you don't have to have a really big screen. So, but right. the, close enough, you can you can feel like it's a large screen. And this is one, one millimeter narrow border for the full screen uh, cell phone. Yep. And then we have uh, yeah, the feature is uh, it's a, also based on LTPS, and we have a cough process bounding. Yeah. And the screen ratio is over 98 percent. Uh, nice. Yeah. And through hole design. One, yeah, this one you can look, take a look at the, the through hole because uh, previously we used notch to integrate the IR sensor or camera, but here we can drill a small hole so that the uh, camera or sensor can be integrated more flexible and without compromising the active area. So I see all the edges are curved, right? Curved, uh, uh, curved edges. Yeah, it's a round shape. Curved so, corners. Yeah, it's a freeform design. I just wish that the camera would be on the edge, edge more edge, on right? The, and then this edge would not be curved, and the camera would be here outside oh, the display. Thank you very much. So, can you do it? Yeah, sure. You were able to do everything. Yeah, sure. Right? Yeah. For you, it's easy, right? For, for, for us, it's really. Easy. And here we have Intel oh. fingerprints. Yes, this uh, is uh, people's choice award. Yes. This is the world first full screen Intel fingerprint. So there has been a, a goal for, for a long while that we integrate the finger sen fingerprint sensor yeah. into the display. Yeah. Yeah. So as you can see that uh, you can specify any region on the display to be a finger fingerprint sensor. Any, anywhere. 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 It's a full screen integration. Yeah. How you do this? We integrate uh, our own proprietary uh, 
photo sensing technology into the display so that we can do a full high resolution. Your own proprietary? Right. right. There's not a partnership with a, maybe it is, but... No, it's in-house. In-house. Yeah, in-house technology. Um, this layer on the screen, does it take transparency off? The potential of the screen, or only a little bit, yeah, more Just or less. Little, but uh, you don't say how much, right? Right, right. And then you have it right here. Yeah, yeah uh, as you can see, the pixel density is uh, the same with the with the sensing density. And how about the resolution of the fingerprint uh, scanner? Yeah, four, sensor. Uh, about four hundred dpi. Is this good? Yeah, it's very good. Is as good as every smartphone out there? Yes, it's equal to the pixel density. Well, so it's equal to a dedicated fingerprint scanner. Right, yes. Either way, either way. But it's even better to integrate with the display. Can you scan other things or only finger? Can you scan uh, like a business card or something? No. Yeah, no. It's currently finger. Finger, Yeah, right. yeah. But right. for business card or the credit card, we have a near field uh, uh, NFC sensor can be integrated. Yeah. yeah. Nice. And okay. here you have some. Uh, wait. Uh, ITV curved. Yeah. ITV stands for the, the in-cell touch. So we uh, previously we need uh, extra glass sensing glass uh, for the touch function, but now we even for automotive we integrate the in-cell uh, the touch function into the cell, so that the, the layer stack becomes thinner and also more compatible with the curve. It looks beautiful. Yeah, this one is uh, very beautiful. Is it also, shipping in the car now? Yeah, we have a project awarded, so uh, we will ship uh, early next next year for the ITP. I think it's dangerous because it's too beautiful and people will not look at the road. And maybe do an accident. No, I'm joking. But <laughs> I hope I'm not joking. I mean, uh, I hope, uh, yeah. Right. I mean, it's 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 really uh, very uh, beautiful. Right, but in, in the, the future for the autonomous driving, you will enjoy the entertainment when you in a in auton autonomous. Angles, and the nits are very high. Right, and the, the color saturation is... Quite nice. But maybe it's a self-driving car, so it doesn't matter, right? right. Yes. Yeah. Self-driving cars are exist in Taiwan. Uh, yeah. But coming. it's a uh, level one or two. But okay. in the coming years, that maybe level three or level four. Nice. Yeah, that will be more entertainment. We have a mini LED. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also curved with the, with the mini LED with the uh, automotive application. This is a cluster with a mini LED. So we really apply a mini LED into different applications so that we can drive the supply chain and also to make the performance better. 432 zones. Right, yeah, for a 12.3 inch. How do you create the mini LED? We, uh, we have a strategic uh, supplier and we also have our own uh, local dimming algorithm so that we combine the backlight technology, cell, cell technology and the LED supplier so that we make the LED, mini LED. Well, how can you make it even better? Just more zones? More zones and uh, more efficient. Yeah, more zone and a better algorithm. Even to compensate, when we do curve, there's some uh, uniformity issue so that we can compensate those uniformity issues by local dimming technology. I saw some sh uh, company here at the show, they showed like 2K and 4K and they do some kind of a nearly pixel dimming for LCD. Right, right. that's for dual cell. We also have a dual cell You also technology. have dual cell. Right, right. Showing here? Uh, no, not this not year. Here. Pre previously, we have already demo. So for you, it's old technology already. Uh, kind of old, but uh, okay. yeah, still, still <laughs> cool. the performance is impressive. Yeah. All right. Yeah, next and one is uh, two panel on the one cover lens. This one is what we call co-form. Uh, we, we formed the 3D cover lens by a metal frame. Yeah. So we co-work with our supplier uh, with a flat cover lens. Uh, adding a metal frame to shape into, a, in this case, a V-shape, so that we, we do a so-called cold form curve. Also uh, touch. Display. Yeah, uh, can be integrated in touch. Yeah, no problem. Also with the inside touch. So you big in the automotive market, already big? Right, we are uh, in the central information display, we are worldwide number two. Number two? Number two. And the Is area... Christian number one? No. I don't know. Um, Who's no, some other company? Yeah, yeah, yeah Korean company. Yeah. Korean company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but uh, the the volume of cars that ship with these kinds of displays is is still a small percentage, right? No, no, it was no. It's growing to. It's yeah, not majority it's growing, yet. But uh, in average, now every car has at least one panel. But we expected that uh, very soon it will be 1.6 or two panels per car. So the market for the automotive nice. display is still growing. But this is the premium. And this is the premium, but getting more popular. Nice. Yeah, in the beginning, it may be premium. But, uh, this Whoa. one is uh, 
12.3 inch automotive display plus a 12.3 uh, inch cluster. So this is so-called half forming uh, cover lens. So we laminate in our uh, factory directly uh, two panels on the one cover lens. And the really challenge is the, the whole black uniformity. We can do it really good. Yeah. Nice. And let's go over here. Uh, what do you show here? Yeah, here is uh, the Gemi monitor, uh -huh. mini LED yeah. for, for the front, monitor. Yeah. Yeah. So it uh, takes, uh, there's a 1,152 zones with the mini LED. So recently. That's a lot. Well, that's a lot. So you can see the picture. Uh, picture quality is really good. The dark state and the off angle are all perfect image. Yeah. But also, isn't it isn't it better to do the dual display kind of thing than the mini LED? Oh yeah, it's a uh, pro and cons. If you want a really good pixel dimming level, you do dual cell. But usually for the monitor, especially monitor, it's a single user scenario. So on access viewing experience, usually 1,000 zones is very much enough. Yeah. Is a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. Because before, uh, local dimming was just what? What was the standard two years ago or three years ago? It was like it's 80 like or 80, 100? Yeah, 196 zones. Yeah, those kind of level. But the, Now we 1,000. Yeah, big 1, jump. 000. Right, because the process are all different for, yeah. to integrate the mini OED. Yeah. So the blacks are better? Yes. The localized colors are better? Yes. Everything? Yes. Right, and the peak brightness also better. And uh, this one uh, is a uh, NTSC high, high color gamut, over 100% NTSC. So you can see also a 4K uh, personal monitor. Nice. Yeah. We also do the gaming monitor and also the curve monitor. Yeah. Nice. And this one is for medical. For medical usage, uh, the high contrast ratio is very, very uh, important so that uh, the diagnosis will be accurate enough. It's also based on the, the AHVA technology, but uh, we optimize the cell so to reach uh, even higher uh, contrast ratio as a 2,200 to one. So now we are also developing the, uh, aggressively about the medical uh, market, display market. So this is very important for us. And this FinTech. one, yeah, FinTech, it's uh, NFC embedded. I can show you. Is that financial technology? What is fintech? Uh, it's uh, it's the like a micropayment. It's like uh, I choose the 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 juice, and I can use my car with NFC to purchase. Yeah. How's it possible to do that on a screen? Yeah, we have uh, some special design on the panel so that uh, the NFC signal, microwave signal, can uh, will not be blocked. Will be transmitted uh, through the panel so that we can do a lot of. Uh, Micropayment, those kind of activities. All the displays available? Yeah, still like a fingerprint, <laughs> that's, but uh, subject to the user interface design. So if I want a cola, I do cola. Uh, you, you choose first. Okay, choose. Yeah, and it shows to where to pay. So, yeah. So there, but it can also be there anywhere. Yeah, yeah, by the user, user interface design. Well, and it's a full NFC reader. Right. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Uh, no issue with getting the contact. No, no. No. How can it go through the display? The display is a lot of layers, right? A lot of layers. So we need to some special design, maybe to avoid to leave us empty area without metal, because metal blocks the, the electromagnetic wave, so that we have an empty blank area to let the NFC microwave signal pass through. Empty blank area? Yeah, it's a, it's a metal-free area, so that the signal won't be blocked. Well, yeah. And here's more fingerprint. Yeah, this is a fingerprint. So that this one is not integrated with a, with a display, but uh, with an outdoor sensor. Okay, so that you can do uh, more fingerprint sensing. Yeah. So and then this one, uh, the pixel the density. What's the sensor? What does that mean? Yeah. It's outdoor just like the same thing you have for the passport control, or what's different right. about this? Yeah, you can use it uh, maybe on the on the door or on the on the on the outside applications. And the, the pixel, the sensing density is even higher. In this case, at the 500 P PPI. Oh. Yeah. Cool. And what more do you have done here? Yeah. We have uh, very interesting uh, new topics. 
Yeah. Yeah. Let me introduce my my colleague Sugura-san to introduce this area. So hi. So who are you? Uh, I'm. My name is Sugura. And uh, what do you show here? Uh, what is this? Uh, what is this? Uh, this maybe. Uh, this is a yeah. wire grid polarizer mirror display. So. Oh, yeah. There's a mirror? Uh, yes, yes. A full mirror? Yes. And then what, what happened? Uh, because if the, we turn off the display, we can see the mirror, and if turn off, we can see the display image. But how is it compared to another dif di this different kind of display? Uh, because uh, if we use a conventional method, the panel transmittance becomes much lower than this one, because we can get the two times higher transmittance. So it's a two times better mirror and two times better display? Uh, the so reflection is the same, but the transmittance is twice, two times higher. Whoa. And uh, to make the, this panel, we apply the nano-imprinting technology. Ha what is that? Uh, the kinds of the stamp process. And is it using this? Uh, yes, but uh, as what, you can see... What is this? Uh, this is uh, just 8 inch master mode. And as you can see, our panel size is much larger, right? Larger than how this do you, one. How do you fit this inside this? It's not possible. Yeah, so that we developed a new technology without tiring the stitching. So that, can you find any stitching? No. Uh, actually, the... There is stitching. Yeah. Ah, so there is stitching. I should look for it. No, actually, the, I believe you cannot find. <laughs> we'll never see it. <laughs> okay, so here is a 15 yeah. point... What is that? 15.6-inch uh, wire grid polarizer mirror spec. So this is this. Yes. And uh, here's some art. Yes. But is this a display? Yeah, of course, of course. LCD. It is a real type art. LCD, yes. How's the art changing every five seconds? It's a real display. Yes. So what, what, what is this art display here? Uh, LCD? The, this is uh, actually the we control to reduce the reflection from the panel. So um, that's a big deal because you don't, people ha have windows, open windows, the mm -hmm. sun is coming in. Yes. And that ruins the experience yes. when you see all this reflection. Yes. But and here it is. Here, maybe the not so clear reflection light, right? What? How do you do this? <laughs> my light is really bright. Yes. Here you see my light. Yes. And here it's gone? Yes. What? It's gone. Yeah. How do you absorb the light? Yeah, so to reduce the like such a reflection, we control the, we apply the special the process on the surface. It's like a black hole. No, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe quite dangerous. <laughs> yeah. uh, is this can be on the TV or? Currently, because the, the color yes. of the TV is yes. two minutes reflection. Yes. So but the is this for sale already or uh, no? Not yet. Is so it very expensive the, or? Um, not so. So the hope that we can start the production immediately. It takes away uh, transmissions, right? Is less um, performance point actually have no difference. L visibility is the same. Yes, of course. It's not losing any transmittance. Yes, no, no, nothing. No, never, never. 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 It's just coding or something. Uh, kind of. <laughs> is a <it> secret. Secret. <laughs> okay. <laughs> of cool. Course. Because uh, it it should be the secret. <laughs> All right. Cool. All right. Thanks a lot. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. So um, at this show, last show uh, last year, you were there. You were here. Yeah, last year I was here. And yeah. uh, you had a micro LED, right? Right. What is the latest status with the micro LED? You don't show it here. Why not? Yeah. Because it's uh, too good now. No, no, no. We are still improving, but uh, we keep working on that. Okay. Yeah. So currently, now we are targeting some uh, certain applications to work on with our. Our customer, so we want to make uh, micro LED uh, realistic products. So we are definitely working on that. But you don't work with OLED. OLED, actually, we have OLED watch. We are no worldwide number oh. one, the True Circle M OLED watch. OLED watch. Yeah. So and you also have, have flexible OLED displays, right? Yeah, yeah. But yeah. are they in the market? Not yet, but we are working on that. But uh, our OLED watch are still uh, already on the market. And also the flexible substrate. So, so you do everything: LCD, OLED, micro LED. What you don't do? Uh, we don't do. We don't do. We don't do many things, but uh, we do a lot of display because we are a professional display maker. All right. Yeah. Thanks a lot. So thanks for the show. Thank you. Um, and see you next year. Yeah, appreciate it.